How's it going guys? Welcome to today's video. It is a beautiful sunny day. It's the middle of May, 17th to be exact. And we're mowing some silage. Got some ground that we tied up, uh, closed up for silage, for some early cut uh, around this time of the year. We're getting in a good time. I was worried with the nitrogen going out late that we wouldn't be ready to cut, but we tested for the sugars and for the nitrogen and it's ready to go. Should be good. The weather is brilliant. So we're mowing it today. We're going to pick it up in a couple of days time. So all this stuff is really nice grass, really nice leafy high quality silage this is going to make. This is all going into our small pit, we'll be feeding this to the milking cows at the back end. Our main cut of silage will be coming in in a couple of weeks, that will be for our dry cows. 50 acres or so going into this pit, maybe a bit more. Um, there's the fields we closed up and got fertilised and then there's a couple of fields that were grazed. Um, over the last little while and they're getting stronger and now the growth is taken off we're going to take them out with this pit as well so just in here in the big field mowers are going there now uh, we did measure when we were testing we did measure to see what uh, how much was there and it was coming in around six ton just over six ton of dry matter per hectare this field I'm in now is probably a little bit heavier probably closer to seven I'm not sure, one of the fields I thought that's definitely heavier than another but it was a different variety of grass and turned out to be the same. But there's a nice crop of grass here, you can see it's like it's not going to be, it's not quantity we're going for, it's quality. So it's good right to the base, nice leafy stuff. It's nowhere near having gone to seed yet which is good, you know another few days wouldn't do it any harm. But while the weather's good, we're going to try to get it in before the weekend. The last thing we want to do is get caught out and let this go to, go to seed. Because the quality will get very poor very rapidly. So, important thing with this, because it's going for milking cows, high quality silage. We can afford to drive the main cut for a little bit more bulk. And because it's just going fed to dry cows, they don't need as high quality silage. They'd probably actually just get too fat if they were being fed just this silage. I do love this field over here. It's about 27, 28 acres, 10 or 11 hectares. It is a lovely big field, ideal for the silage and one of the furthest fields from the farmyard, which is also makes it ideal for cutting silage. How's it going guys? It is the following day. I'm back out in the field here at the silage. Probably notice I got the hair cut. It was after getting pretty long. Been just over 24 hours since we mowed. Um, the rake is here at the moment. It's just the other side of the field. So it's 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 dried out a good bit. You know it, it's wilted well on top. You know it probably it's not too bad underneath. You know we didn't bother turn it. A little bit longer would do no harm but today's thursday and they're giving a little bit of rain maybe on saturday so we do want to um get in tomorrow so he'll rake it up anyway it'll give you know two thirds of it a toss anyway turning it in and uh it'll sit there like that for the night until tomorrow then we're going to be bringing this pit out last number of years we've only had this pit inside the shed um, but this year we're going to be bringing it out along the yard. We used to do it back before when that was our main pit. Um, so we're going to, it won't be as full as it used to be back when we had it as our main pit out across the yard. But um, we will bring it out. It'd be nicer to have a bit more silage in that pit. Because when it's just a shed, um, when it comes to buffer feeding the cows at the back end, you know, you'll be lucky to get a month out of it. Um, you know, three to four weeks is all it will last.
So it's the following day, the side that just arrived and they're starting to bring in. We're going to start with some of the light paddocks, those surplus ones um, that were just gone too strong for the cows. Get them in first and then we'll get into the main stuff. First load in, it's looking good. That stuff is one of the surplus paddocks, so that's very, very, very light. That's just pure leaf. Contractor's got a, a new 435, well, new to him, it's a 2016. 